Today we are talking about hobbies. Hobbies. By the way, roll the intro. Oh, yeah. This morning, doing like a hair tutorial of just like the different braids. Like the different oh my braids. gosh, yeah, because like you this. know how to braid. Kinda. I want to know more though. I want to like do it more regularly. But how I actually figured out how to braid is well, first of all, my dad taught me how to braid. Really? Yeah, he taught me how to braid on a My Little Pony Look from the you, Tooth dad. Fairy. Like I practiced on my own. Like I would just sit there when I was watching TV and just braid my hair, just like just really? over and over. See, that's what I needed to do because I never, I to this day, I cannot braid my own hair other than like a side braid. Like I can yeah. kind of do I'm that. I'm thinking there's a lot of people like that. Reversed French braid. Yeah. I like those. I need to, I want to practice that more. That's very in right now. You know what I want to, that's my perspective. Maybe you know what I want to learn how to do is like, uh. an ups, okay, so you like flip your hair upside down and you uh. braid it going this way and then you do like a messy bun on top so you have a braid like in the the back of your head. Oh, I think that's like a, so cool. That's like a prom kind of do. Oh, well, maybe, yeah. But it just huh. looked really cool. I could totally try that. Reagan actually made a comment to me not too long ago. You had you had the two braids, you had yeah. braided your hair. And she was like saying how cute it was. And like, why don't you do that, mom? And I'm like, I don't have those skills. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's nice of you, Reagan. The braids are really in, they're very uh -huh. trending. And I think that we should be doing something with that. I would love to be able to do like yeah, a you little... could do. Yeah, yeah, you could totally do that. I just don't, I don't know how to do it. My hands don't function. I'm like, <laughs> Your hands function that way. I don't, uh, well... You can pull off a f flipping wreath. Like, I think you can braid some hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. Just saying. <laughs> Hobbies. Do you have hobbies? Hobbies can come in all shapes and forms. And they really can. And types. Yeah. When Brittany had brought up to me about doing a segment on hobbies, I was just like a little sheepish because I feel as though I don't have a lot of time right now for hobbies. Uh -huh. But <clears throat> see, and I have lots of hobbies. I don't get to do them as much as I would like to, but I do have. I have lots of hobbies. I like hobbies. Well, let's hear about your hobbies. Okay. So one hobby I like to crochet but I don't actually like to make anything. I'm not interested in crocheting anything. I just love the act of crocheting. Like I find it very relaxing. So a lot of times at night, like I'll just have the TV on on something just mindless and I'll just sit there and crochet and I, it's just so relaxing. No way. Yeah, so I have a couple of- And you won't even make anything? No, I mean, I have made things before, but I'm like, that requires counting and like paying attention to what you're doing. Yes. And I don't want to do that. I just want to like relax with it. I have multiple little, like when the girls were little and they had their dolls, I would crochet them blankets for the dolls. Oh, that's a good you idea. Know? A giant blanket that I made. Just, just again, like random color. I don't even care what it looks like. It's the most random colors. You random to, stitches. You, you, okay. But yeah, I mean, I it's, see this. it's a, like, it's a big old blanket that I just, just sit and do. Just and I actually started another one because it got too big because I was like, this is too much to handle. So, <laughs> wow. So that's one, and then I like to needle felt. That's another thing, and that's something I'm actually, in reality, I'm really not that good at it. I just know it, how to do it She's well very enough good at that. to where I can like make something. Like I didn't even know really what this fun. was, and she had brought it up to me. I'm like, what is needle felting? And how I discovered it was December. We were on Christmas break from school. Reagan was homesick that day. She just, she had a cold or something and she's laying on my lap and I'm watching some stupid cartoon show that I'd seen a million times. And <laughs> you do that too. Yeah. <laughs> and so I had my phone and I was like, I was on Pinterest. And at that time, that's when the gnomes were getting to be a big deal. Yeah. And I wanted one, but I didn't want to pay 25 bucks for a gnome. I'm like, I bet yeah. I can make it somehow. So I started, I got on YouTube and I just started scrolling looking for DIY gnomes and I came across this needle felting gnome tutorial by Living Felt. They're out of Austin. Oh, by the way, Austin. 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 Hashtag Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Starbucks. Hashtag collectors. <laughs> I have the Denver one and My parents Vegas. collect them from all the cities. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, so I came across this needle felt and I'm watching this tutorial and I was like, oh, I think I could totally do that. So I bought like a little kit and I started with some basic stuff because anytime you start something new, the urge is to like buy all the things. Yes. And then you like don't really like it and now you have all this stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
So I only bought like, I was good. I only bought like a few things and I really enjoyed it. And again, it's just so relaxing to do. And then I like to wood burn. <laughs> the wood burning. I love the wood burning. The wood burning I want to really do cool. that. That's something I want to try in the summertime. Okay. Yeah. I want to yeah. do it. I found this new tool that I want to get. So how yeah, I, cause then you could point me in the direction of what tools I need to get to. Yeah. Yeah. So I, okay. So how I normally would wood, wood burn is I would print out some sort of a template. So let's just say you want it to say welcome or something. So I would actually type it out like on either like a word document yeah. or like you've done even, a DIY on this. Yeah. Like or you Canva. Totally did that. Yeah. I did those little tags and stuff, but I would, so I'd print it out and then I would, um, I would use carbon paper mm -hmm. to trace it. Got it. When you lift with the carbon paper, there it is. And then uh -huh. you just burn it in. Well, I found this new tool that I want to get so badly. They do not have it at Hobby Lobby, so I got to go find it somewhere else. But it's actually a, a it's an attachment that you put onto your wood burning tool that can heat on a design, so you're not tracing it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the tracing is really tedious. So okay. this is like, you just sit there and you heat it, the transfer it on that way. Jeez, you've got a lot of cool hobbies. I like like hobbies. what I'm thinking if, like, if I were to have those hobbies, so you say you just crochet just to crochet. Mm -hmm. Like for me, the mindset is like, I need to make something. Like I yeah. need to have some fruit of my labor. Yeah. From what it is that I'm doing. And, and for I, some things I can see that, yeah. But, but there's ways that I'm envious that you can just just not care just not care like and just yeah check out <laughs> like i feel like i'm drowning i'm always drowning just trying to get on top of the water uh-huh and so even to think about a hobby i have lots of things i'm interested in yeah um and as an but, art teacher like i imagine there's a lot of things you're good yes. at the leather okay the leather i don't like to do expensive things as you all know and so i got this leather super cheap they actually had uh, quite a bit of leftover scraps at Hobby Lobby. I got some on Amazon, a friend gave me some, but then I'm just like, okay, I was really into leather bracelets. So I was making yeah. leather bracelets mm -hmm. or I sold earrings for a while, leather earrings. Um, but that was fun, but I'm always just like looking at ways that I can make money uh -huh. and I could like, yeah, make money. <laughs> well, see, and that <laughs> but is enjoy not, what I'm doing. That is not a hobby though. If you want to make something money at something, you're not, it's not a hobby. Well, so then you, you start to pursue it because I enjoy doing it. So I made these like 20 pairs of earrings for my sister was going on this girl's weekend and she wanted to have the same earrings for all of her friends. Mm -hmm. Love the idea. Yeah. Totally made the earrings. It was more of a chore. Mm -hmm. It, 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 it kind of lost its zest after the first like three pairs of earrings. And that's why it's no longer a hobby. And then that's <laughs> when it turns no longer into a hobby. I wish I had something. I wish I just, I don't know. I, I don't want to wish, I don't want to wish my life away here, but this is the time is of the essence. And I just, right now I don't feel so. I yeah. make a lot of time for such things as hobbies. Yeah. I, it's, it's no secret that we don't have spare time these days. We really don't. It's at nighttime. It's at night when yep. we're done for the day. I'm not working anymore. I'm, I'm even if it's just for like 20 minutes before going to bed. Okay, fine. Can a hobby be eating skinny pop? I'm really good at I that. I mean, I'm sure the people from Skinny That's Pop would agree. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do before bed almost every night, as you all know. <laughs> Talk about that here. <laughs> <laughs> but although I might not have a lot of hobbies right now, I am very envious of my mother, who seems to have a plethora of hobbies. That's good. Yes, very good. Uh, you, you know, you just don't know like what you're gonna do after retirement. Like mm -hmm. you don't always know what that's gonna look like. And I know that was a scary jump for my mom. She's writing now, that's a hobby of hers. She uh, has submitted several different articles to different people. She is uh, really into doing just like small little gestures for people. Like she loves making cards, like making Aww. cards and personalizing her own cards. So this is Derek's uh, 45th birthday card that they made, okay? And on the inside then, like she goes out of her way, like to say something special, Alley to put pictures. like, like personalized pictures and like even like look at the back. Like, yeah. so this is, I think definitely a hobby of hers to like just make people feel special. Yeah. Um, but also another hobby of hers, again, living vicariously through my mother. <laughs> so over the summer, we spent a lot of our time in Michigan mm -hmm. and she's really into flowers and she knows like lots of things about flowers. Now I don't, I don't have any, 
Any, you'd think my mom would teach me some things through this, but no. Oh, the cherry orchard. Cherry orchard. Oh, hey, we, we just talked about, about cherry this. orchard. We, we just talked about that. But she talks about just like all the different flowers that we saw while we were yeah. there. And she took pictures of all of them and then put like then the different type of flower that was. So just super cute little books. Little book. that, yeah. And then she like did this for the whole entire family. Like, I mean, I'm talking about all my aunts, my yes. uncles, my cousins, all of the above. But she made a calendar. How time consuming is this? But again, she just likes doing special things for the people that she loves. But Dude, your mom is my people because I've done this too. Like, I love these. <laughs> like she did this for like all the Christmas gifts. Yeah. So like she thought that much ahead then to personalize. And she even put in like the birthdays. The days. Yep. And then so for a person like me, this is very helpful. Super helpful. Very helpful. The dates. But like. And they're all themed. All themed with the different it. families. So, yeah. And so I just thought that was a, a fabulous hobby. So Shutterfly. I think yes. Shutterfly is definitely one of her oh, friends man. or one of her hobbies. So big shout out to Shutterfly. <laughs> Shutterfly's her friend. I yeah. should just let her like log into my Shutterfly account and be like, go <laughs> to town, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> I was super into Shutterfly for when like the kids were babies. Cause you know, you take a gazillion pictures Those of Those baby kids. books. Yes. yes. I have so many baby books. Yes. yes. Just like yes. that. But this is like anymore, if like scrapbooking's kind of out. Like that I used mean, to be one of my hobbies. Yeah, see I, okay, so that's a hobby I tried and couldn't get into. I tried to scrapbook and it was so sad and I was just like, mm, no, this is not for me. Mm -hmm. But I loved doing photo books on Shutterfly, like that I could get into and I could spend hours working on that mm -hmm. stuff. That was really fun. But I think it's so good though to have these books uh, because anymore like who prints off photos, you know? like. I know. Who does the photos thing anymore besides electronic? That was a big thing with my grandma. My grandma was like, yeah. well, I don't want you guys to take the pictures because then I'll never see them. Like, because with social media, I mean, my right. know, grandparents, are, they were older and. Yeah. That's like a big thing with my grandma about, I don't know, maybe once a month or so. I'll actually, I will go on and print a bunch of pictures. I remember and, you saying Yeah. That. And mail them to her because she does, like, she's not on social media. She doesn't even do texting. So it's like, I can't even send her a picture. Okay. That's the only way she sees them is if I physically print pictures. So that's the only reason why, like, I even have any printed pictures anymore is because I'll, a lot of them all just like, oh, this is a really good one. I'll get two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get one for me but yeah otherwise we don't we remember two mm -hmm. pictures which is sad i like pictures yeah. i like having physical pictures but if you can take time that's the thing i don't have time to make a book <laughs> mm-hmm <laughs>